everyone, this is Hirtekos back with another video, and, well, I am back with another button shy game. So that's um, something I'm really getting into at the moment, and I think that's also something um, some of you actually like to see. So today I'm, I'm here with Circle of the Wagons. Um, I will just do a short playthrough with that and show you how that works. Hopefully we can beat the AI. So just a few things in a, a few things before I start. First of all, um, I will play it with the solo expansion, Lo Lone Cowboy, of course. Otherwise, I couldn't play it solo. So if you and the, the rules are a little bit different. So if you would like to see a rules overview video for the two-player version, so the regular version, let me know and I can record a video with that um, in the near future. Um, and also the second aspect is um, so. I played both versions um, several times, the one with for two players, the regular one and the solo one. The solo version is decent and it makes it definitely is, is fun, definitely, but um, I don't prefer it over the two player version, which is in my opinion superior. So um, this is a game I would suggest getting if you like these kind of games. Um, it's a little bit puzzly and everything, you're going to see that in just a few minutes, but um, I would not get this just for the solo version, to be honest. It's not bad, but there are way better solo games out there. Um, I might actually, in the future, make a list of my favorite solo games, um, since I think um, I'm quite proficient there by now. <laughs> All right, and the last thing, and then we can get started right away. Um, as usual, um, the channel is still in the very beginning, and I'm always happy about feedback. So if you want to drop me a comment, contact me on Twitter, drop a like, or even a subscription, that's all great. And if you don't, if you're just here for watching, that's great too. Um, I'm also happy if you are just watching the video. All right, so let's get started. So um, I will not explain all of the rules in the beginning now. Um, I will pretty much explain them as we go along, but I will just um, show you the basic premise. So we will have two goal cards later on um, that will score and also we will start laying out cards and um, like putting them in a pattern like this for example and we can also turn them around. So we have um, possibilities to lay cards um, on top of each other or beside each other and uh, we will then score points in three ways. First of all we will score points for each of these different um, of these different biomes, so to speak. So we have grass here, we have desert and mountain, and for each of the biome we will score the one with the most fields, with the most spaces. So if I would if I scored uh, desert for example, I would score these four red ones, that's four points. Um, but we're gonna see that at the end how we how we score that. Also we will score the goal cards that we draw. The goal cards are determined by the scenario we will be drawing. Um, we will go over those when it's time. Also, we will have an AI. This this is not a score challenge, this game, which I really appreciate because score challenges can be a little bit dull um, depending on the game and on the implementation. This um, we The AI receives points, we receive points, whoever has the most, most at the end obviously wins and the AI is pretty tough so let's see if we can beat it all right let's get all of that out of the way um, let's put these here too come on there we go we have a stack here also um, as you can see um, I so far I don't own the commercial version um, not yet I might get it in the future because it's a very cool game especially for two players um, what I did I printed the print and play version online from PNP Arcade. I think it's about three bucks, so it's very affordable. And um, like I did with Skulls of Setlag, in case you saw that video, um, I will link to it um, right up here in a card. Okay, so let's get started. Let's shuffle up these, um, these scenarios. I just give them a, a small shuffle like that, and then we will just draw one scenario and the others will be taken out of the game. All right, so let me see if I can somehow focus a little bit here for you. So we have this one here, Cattle Drive. That's our scenario for this game. Happy cows, prairie life. Don't nap too long while the herd is grazing. There's work yet to do. Um, so you see, um, there are two 
uh, happy cows and prairie life these are mentioned these are the goals we need here um, I will just get those out that's prairie life and happy cows Where are, ah there we go uh, I think I know these two I've had them in the in some games so let's look at the first one prairie life Add all of your cow symbols and all of your plains territories. Divide by two, rounding down, and score that many points. So that's pretty straightforward. I will count all all prairie prairie territories, uh, plain plains territories. Um, that's the yellow ones and all cows. Just divide them by two. That's fine. Uh, I think. Well, we will look at that in a minute. Um, also, we have happy cows. I will get two points per each additional cow that's not adjacent to or on a snow territory. Let me explain that. So, um, let's take out this one, and can we get one with snow, please? Would that be possible? That would be just great. There we go. So, let me take out these two to explain that. So, um, later on, I can lay the cards like this, for example. Just imagine I put them down like this. This would score me two points, because it is not on a snow or adjacent to a snow territory as you can see adjacent is of course only left right up and down not diagonal um, this cow would not score me two points because it's on a snow territory if I laid out the cards like this this cow wouldn't score either because it's right beside a snow territory so that's pretty much how that card works there are some scoring conditions for the AI so it says there um, opponent scoring down here do not divide by two for prairie life so the um, opponent will get the regular score not the divided by two one that I will get and also snow doesn't matter so every cow counts and this is why I'm saying the AI is pretty tough actually all right so let's put all of that up here come on like yeah up here so we can see everything and now we give that the rest of the cards that 16 cards we give those a shuffle and we will play in two rounds so we will now cut the deck and now we will lay out eight cards two three four i hope i can fit everything on screen but i will try my best to do so four five six seven eight and the stack in the middle so let me just arrange that a little bit so we have a little bit more room so you could do a nicer circle oh you can't see everything i see give me a second i will fix that so like that that should work then i suppose yes it does so this is a circle here um it's not the nicest circle but i want you to be as close as possible to what's happening here but still um be able to see everything so i think that setting should work all right now the game starts um first it's my turn what i will do now is i need to start with the top card i will have to take that if i don't take that card i can skip it i can skip ahead as many cards as i want to but every card i sip goes directly to the opponent i don't want that of course so here you see there's a cow this cow is already worth two points because it's not on a snow territory and so far not adjacent to one also it's worth um, another half point no another two another another point because it's a cow and it's a and it's a um, it's a yellow territory so that's already a point and another point for these two so this one is already worth a lot of points if I gave that to the opponent I would be a little bit stupid probably so let's take that card and I will now have to put that down someplace here so I will just put it here for now um, and this card will not stay here and every other i cannot move that anymore i mean i can move it around of course but i can't like put it above other cards or anything that is pretty fixed and all fixed and all the other cards i have to put around that so what the ai now does the ai is now checking does the ai have a symbol here so that means an icon and a color that matches this card here it can go ahead it can check ahead the first three cards um, that's the case so the AI will get you see here there is um, a cow on a green territory on grass and there's another cow on grass so it will get both cards and put them in in the AI's pile um, let's put the pile 
um, like like this for now. Okay, so that's the AI's pile, um, and now it's my turn. So I can check if I want that. Um, of course, we want many adjacent territories. Um, also, we want the yellow ones, right? So this one, to take this one wouldn't be too bad. This would be a point for the AI. It would be half a point for me, so... And another point if I connect it with that one, so I think it wouldn't be too bad. I might take this, because that doesn't really help me anything. So let me just take that one. Um, and I will... Let me put that a little bit more central. And I will put it maybe like this. Because then I would be able to group cards around. So like what I can do is I can put cards right just adjacent. And it, I can't put them diagonal. They need to connect to some card. I can put it like this or just halfway. I can put it here halfway or like this. Um, I can also put it on top of cards like this or like that. Pretty much any way I want to. What I can't do is put them under a card. Um, also what I can do is rotate it if I'd like to. But I'll just be clear, um, make it a little bit, yeah, do it some normal way and just put it here. Okay, there we go. All right, now it's the AI's turn. The AI checks again. Um, there's no match here. There is also no match there. And also I see no match there. So there is no match here. So the AI, um, the AI will just um, then just take the card here and just put it in there. Pile. Okay. So now it's my turn again. Here is another prairie. That's not too bad. Um, either I could do that. Yeah, I think that's not too bad. That's something I could do. What I what I think what I'm gonna do now is the following. I'll take that card. Well, both are worth... Well, this would be worth more points for me. And the AI is going to take that. No, this one will go to me anyway. Because the AI will take that card. Because it matches that one. So it will give that to me. So I will take that and also get that next round. That's probably the best thing to do. And what I will do now, I will... Let me put those up here. I will turn, these around, will turn the card around and put it here. Because with that, I have a larger, larger prairie. Larger yellow. Um... The yellow fields here, but also I have two snow right beside each other. So these give me two points then later on too. So that's not too bad. Okay, the AI will now check and it sees, oh, here, I have a cow on grass in there too. So we'll take these two cards. Because it skipped a card, I will get that one. So um, I will get that one. And we want the cow not next to a snowy area. Um, which shouldn't be a problem. Mm, can we combine some areas? Well, there is mountain, there is mountain too. So we could combine these two. Not put them here, because otherwise I can't put anything here anymore. I would have to cover something. And I don't want to cover the cows. Um, can we combine several biomes with each other? I don't think so. Here would be water. No. Well, let's just put it like this then. Yeah, I don't see a problem doing that. So, it was the AI's turn. I got a card, but it still was the AI's turn. So it's my turn again, and I take that card. Mm, another cow. Nice. And also another um, mountain area. So we want... See? See? If we do it like this, we have a larger mountain area here. We have a larger yellow area here. Um, and we have another cow not next to a snow area. So it looks pretty okay at the moment. We're doing pretty well. Um, we need to remember that it was my turn now. Um, so now the next round begins. What we do, we lay out all the cards here. And put them in a circle again. So it's only fewer cards now because the AI took quite a few. So let's just do like a small circle here. Okay, so now something changes. Let me pull up the focus. So, uh, give me a second. There we go. So, you see there, second round opponent draft. We'll skip one to any cow or prairie. Okay, so what the AI does now, now it changes. It will, take, it will always take the first card, 
but it may skip up to one card to any cow or prairie, because that's what the AI wants. It's the AI's turn now. The AI will take this card, because there's a prairie there. That's wonderful. It will just take that card. You see there's no stack in the middle anymore, so the AI can only take one card at a time now. So it's my turn. Um, see here, um, yeah, so there's nothing I really want or need. Um, and there isn't anything I want or need here either. But we can try to maybe combine some biomes again to get points. And you can see, for example, we don't have a large grass or water area yet. We have one grass there, one grass there, one water, one water, one water. So we could take this card, put it up here, and have then two of each. That's something we could do. Um, yeah, that's something we could do. I think that's probably the best thing to do at the moment because... Um, we could also, yeah, that's the same thing. I mean, we just want cows and prairies, and there isn't anything here. There are two cows there, and that's it. So if I take this card, the AI needs to take this card. It can max, it can only skip one card, so yeah. Let's just take this card here, yeah. And let me rearrange that a little bit and put the one up here. I think that was a pretty good idea, a decent idea. So the AI will now take the next card. It can skip one, but there's no prairie there and also no cow, so it will just take that card. Now it's my turn again. I might skip this one to get that one. Mm. Because this will give me a lot of points for snow. But then again, I could also, I could also use the desert one here. It doesn't really matter which one I take, I think. Yes, I will get... Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one I take. So um, I will skip this one. So this goes to the AI. And I will take that one and put it someplace here. Oh, did I not do that correctly? Let me check if I can. Oh, I think I didn't do it correctly. I wanted to combine snow and water. But I think I can't do it. Ah, so that was bad. But, I mean, this one wouldn't have given me more points anyway. So that's fine. Um, then let me just put it... Let me just put it up here so I get one more point. Oh, you can't really see it, right? Let me just pull that all up a little bit. Now you should be able to see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover that water because I can't combine these two anyway, really. And I will just put it right here so I have a pretty large snow area. And now the AI will take that card. And that is already it. Let me get a sheet of paper. We will need that to calculate the score. So, um, let's say here AI. And that's me, Sir Thekas. Okay, like that pretty much. Um, okay, so. Um, let's calculate that for the AI first. So the AI will score two points per cow and another point for each cow and for each prairie. So let's say um, cows give three points then and the prairie gives one each. Prairie. Okay, then let's calculate that. So one cow, two cow, three cows, four or five cows, six, seven, eight cows. So that's eight cows by um, times two, that's 16. And this here is cows plus prairie. Okay. So we have uh, eight cows and how much, how much, how many prairie cards do we have? Uh, prairie. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six plus the eight cows. That's 14. So another 14 points for the AI. I hope I didn't miscalculate that. Okay. And what we do now is we need to count all the different biomes here, the different territories. And the three largest, one will go, largest ones will go to the AI. So let's um, note down all the different, um, uh, say, the different um, 
biome. So we have desert, we have water, then we have um, snow, mountain, we have grass. What am, I, what am I missing? Prairie, of course. Okay, so let's count all of these. So we have, um, let's start with desert first. Three, four, that's the red one here. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. That would be eight desert. Water, we have one, two, three, four, five. That would be, f oh, let's do it like this, eight, five, and then we can cross out the ones that we don't, um, that we don't count. Snow, we have one, two, three, four, that's just four, that's probably not going to count. Mountain, we have, that's the gray one here, we have one, two, three, four, five, then grass, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's a lot. And prairie. We already calculated up here. That was six. But let's just make sure. Let's look again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we're done. Almost done with the AI. Now we will take the three highest ones here. That's eight, eight, and six. So these I will cross out. So that's the score of the AI. Um, Let's calculate that now. That's 6, 8, that's uh, 16, 22, 28, 32, 30, 50. So if I'm not mistaken, that's 52. That is a lot of points. Oh, oh, oh. That's not good. All right. Now let's calculate our points. We will get two points for each cow that is not adjacent or on a snowfield. So let's see. We have one cow. That's fine. Two cows. Three cows. Four cows cows uh, that no that one is on a snow so it's only three cows wow that's all the cows i have that's not very good that's six points then we count all cow cows and prairies so prairies we have one two three four five six and cows we have all together we have four cows that's ten divided by two that's five okay desert one two we have two deserts we water, oh no, 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 that's wrong. Uh, they need to be adjacent. So there's only a group of one desert and another group of one desert. So I only get one. Water, um, we have a group of two here. Snow, we have a group of one, two, three, four, five, six. Mountain, we have a group of two here. Grass, we have a group of two up there. And prairie, we have a group of one, two, three, four, five, six here. Okay. Yeah, I'm never going to win. Six, eight, ten, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-five, thirty. You see? That was a pretty bad game, actually. Um, I hope I didn't... Co I, I hope I didn't uh, miscalculate everything. If I did, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, I, lo I really lost the game. Um, the AI got a lot of points. Wow. Um, there's probably a lot of things I could have done better. But of course, there's also the luck of the draw. And um, this is a pretty e simple scenario to play, uh, to understand and to score. But it's a pretty tough scenario because the AI gets a lot of points. Um, and there's almost no way to um, let the AI have no points or less points. But yeah, if you're still watching, thank you for sticking around this long. Um, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Um, if, as I said, um, get in touch with me in the comments or on Twitter. Um, and if there are any suggestions for the channels, for the channel, let me know. And also, I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Please check if there is the Esperanto subtitle track available. If it is, then there are some corrections or comments I added after uploading the video. All right. Thank you very much for sticking around. And I will see you next time. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.